Tigers incoming. Defend objective A. I have located the enemy. Be Projecting a barrier. Your cover. What? I'm so confused. Why? I was so like shocked by this barrier. My brain like deleted it, and I was like, "Wait, did I just?" I looked at the barrier to see him barrier diva, and I saw it was on cooldown. I was like, "Wait, did he seriously barrier that junker head?" That's kind of mean to say, but at the same time, I have no clue why you barriered this junker head right here. Like, if we go back, all right, let's rewind. Look, maybe there, maybe there was an enemy going over there, and I didn't see. There's a sombra. Okay. Okay, that's it. Okay, yeah, that was this is a terrible barrier. This barrier here on D.Va is the one that we need. She got d because you barrier Junkrat. Ooh. Okay, there is a good barrier on Junkrat. Boom. Save his life. That's a good barrier. Then you turn on the person jumping in your team. Solid target selection. You're still holding your personal shield till you get shot. Solid, like, okay, this little, like, five second section, this is, pr like, pristine Zarya plate. You saved a teammate, protected your backline with your damage, got a bunch of energy, attacked the enemy team with that energy, and use your personal shield to build it more and protect yourself. I'm gonna play this five second segment one more time, because this is good diamond level Zarya play. Boom. Boom, and then the personal shield right here to build up more energy, and we just start killing people. Use grenades more. I'd say the one thing missing is using more grenades, because right here, you got three people in a group, 63 energy. Again, play this corner, because your barrier is on cooldown. Remember, bob and weave, bob and weave. Play this corner, because your barrier is on cooldown, and use some grenades in here. There you go. You play the corner, but you almost messed it up, but you did a good job. That was an. Oh, this barrier was. Again, make sure you assess the situation before you press the barrier button. You see, you hear Somber behind you, which is good. You turn around and see Somber, which is good. But you don't barrier who Somber is shooting at. Don't chase the Somber at Zarya. You don't have enough mobility. Again, this is exactly. I was saying that because I expected something like, like right here. Since you backed away, since the like Diva just died. By the way, when did Diva die? There's nothing you could do to protect the Diva. She, the Diva looks like she overextended. But since the Diva died, you are the new frontline, and your your team's frontliner just went and chased a Sombra around a corner. I mean, Sombra is invisible; she can translocate. You can't chase her as Zarya. But if you're up here with this personal shield creating pressure, you probably would have saved whoever that was. Not directly save them, but indirectly, because they'd be shooting at you and not him. Oh. Okay, your Mercy misplayed a bit because she flew to you when she shouldn't have because look at her HP. She's got no HP. And then she ended up floating in front of you, which was bad. And then you tried to shield her but didn't. I, you tried, so your head's in the right spot. I'm not really going to harp on you that on that one for too much. Obviously, that was a missed opportunity to barrier her. Um, well, what are you doing? Don't hide. Your team needs you. I mean, good barrier on Symmetra there. Yeah, this is over. Yeah, so, like, when you look at this... Oh, wow. Mercy Solar Res, you get ridiculous. Yeah, you're dead. Okay, so, as I, I was gonna say, when you look at this, this all stemmed from you spending like those five seconds chasing Sombra. Right here. This action right here, it seems so minuscule, right? You're like, oh, I just went around the corner for five seconds. But it it's impacted, and, and this is now the hindsight part of the review. It impacted so much of your team because the front line's gone, McCree died, and your Mercy kind of makes a mistake. You can't control your, your allies' mistakes, so that's not on you. But... Now, there was just a position where Mercy had to fly to you. I mean, it's just a whole, like, series of events that stemmed from that first case. So, 
you guys are gonna lose this point for sure. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're playing Farah. Uh, oh, here's Zarya again. Okay. Obviously, guys, I, I don't care about reviewing Farah footage, so. If, okay, why did the enemy Zarya barrier when no one, none of you shot? This is a terrible barrier by the enemy Zarya. Okay, good job getting energy. Look at this, another 75 ammo reload. Oh, right there. One, there was one, two 75 ammo reloads in the span of like three seconds. Together, we are strong. Oh, that's unfortunate that someone got in your way. That would have been a really good barrier on D.Va. Oh, again, unfortunate. You wanted to get a really good barrier on your Genji. Why didn't you push that? You had personal shield and they're in a tiny enclosed space and you have 100 energy. Or 50 energy. Definitely should have pushed that. Pop and weave. Okay. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Good. There you go. Is it keep this up? Keep this up. Grab, grab, grab. Shoot at the turret when you have a grab going. Okay, okay. So, so sorry guys. I'm just I'm watching because there's so much going on. That was a good kill on the the enemy Zarya right here. She did not bob and weave correctly. She overextended. So solid uh, punishment by you. Great barrier. Uh, not great. It was an okay barrier there on your Reaper. But this right here was super good. You shield, you duck in, you're burning down the Diva for a ton of alt charge, you pop her mech, and then then the beautiful Graviton. But just ignore this turret. You really want to just keep shooting at the group of people there. Again, right here, here's where awareness comes in. If you guys can listen closely, you can hear Reaper shooting, the enemy Reaper. And we took damage from the rear, so I want our Zarya to look behind us and see what the Reaper's shooting, and we might have been able to save that mercy. Not sure why we're shielding a Wraith form Reaper. Like, he's literally invulnerable, that's not a good shield. Oh my god! Okay, look at this. He's reloading in front of two enemies when one of them is Mercy. Okay, at the end of this, your biggest issue is reloading for sure. You definitely, you reload way way too much. Oh. That barrier is okay, it's kind of whatever. Your personal shield right here was... Like, she's literally shooting you. Just use your shield right here. I don't know what you're, you're waiting for. And then she stopped shooting you right when you used it, so... How did your Mercy die? That's also what I want to know. Your Mercy is literally right next to you. And then... I don't know, like, right here? I have no idea where she went. You're dead. Oh my god. Oh, you meant to shield D.Va. That's unfortunate. Okay, that was that was all right. What? Dude, no. 
you you have a, pr a projected barrier. You need to be looking to shield someone. Aww. There you go. Good personal shield. Good projected barrier. Did you did you do another reload? Look at this. 68 ammo reload and there's two enemies. Oh no. Stop it. You're killing me. Stop it. You know how much alt charge you would have gotten all these times you hadn't reload? Think of think of like think of your ammo as a $1 bill. And every time you reload, you're throwing away that many cents. You've like if I went back, I bet you you threw away like $10 in terms of extra ammo that you could have shot at people. Don't get me wrong, there's some reloads like, yeah, there's no one around you reload, that's fine. But so many mid-fight reloads, you really, 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 really have got to stop. <laughs> you have a problem, good sir. This is an intervention. Stop reloading mid-fight so much. Oh, so close. Why are you spamming? What's the deal? You good? Good personal shield. Where, oh, I don't know where you're healed. Your Anna died and your Mercy died off on the side. Stop this spam. I don't like it. Yep. Okay, so I already said what the main thing to focus on was. <laughs> was reloads way too many reloads now um some of that loss is definitely your team you know your team wasn't pushing as a unit they weren't grouping etc um you know mercy off on the side dying genji and reaper pushing way past the front line dying um so can't control that now you know you had a lot of your energy generation i'm sure we'll see it here what was oh no 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 go back what was Average energy at the end. Forty-four percent. Okay, your energy generation is good, but that it's not the focus of good Zarya play, in my opinion. Now that is my personal opinion. I prefer a more selfless Zarya play style, and I still get energy that way. There are lots of other very good players like Spree, like Harbu, Har, not Harbu, Har Blue, that focus on um, energy generation play styles, and they are obviously very successful with the, you know top five hundred players, etc. So. At the level that you're playing at, I don't think energy generation is the way to go. Think of all the times you could have maybe clutch saved someone, right? You're caught in a graviton, you shield Mercy, then she reses everyone. You know, that could be a game of a round winning barrier. But, you know, don't get me wrong. When you're shielding your fellow frontliner that's going in, that's not a bad barrier. You're helping them do their job. But mid-fight, your mid-fight barriers are like... 50 50 there's good ones and there's not so good ones and those are the ones you really want to clean up those mid fight bears and for the love of god those mid fight reloads now your personal shield bob and weave is like pretty good but you're 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 kind of you're overextending just a hair too much and getting punished for it um so just just tweak that that you know whatever the accept acceptable range you have with your you know barrier bob bob and weave just kind of tweak it a little bit and bring it a little bit more defensive you know don't chase so hard you don't chase the somber so hard don't you know chase the winston and stuff so hard so for the most part you're a very if you're a consistent zarya player but you know we do these to help to help players improve and i hope that i was able to help you do that um okay i think the last thing to really talk about is your, your target selection need some work for sure lots of times you know there's a reaper or a mercy or a hanzo and depending on the situation you want to be shooting one of those three or a tank etc so definitely work on your target selection um your gravitons were all pretty good for the most part so not not no not many comments there on your gravitons um, i hope this was helpful um thank you guys so much for watching um if you like you know zarya vod reviews or just you know, want to hang out and see me playing games, feel free to check out my Twitch, my Discord, my Twitter, and obviously my YouTube. Um, thanks guys so much for watching and have a good one.
Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. Check out these two other videos on the left hand side and be sure to subscribe by clicking that button on the right. If you like all of this stuff, you can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and of course YouTube. All the links will be in the description below. Again, thanks so much for watching guys and have a good one.